The Battle of Chickamauga, fought on September the 18th to 20, 1863, between Union and Confederate forces in the American Civil War, marked the end of a Union offensive, the Chickamauga Campaign, in southeastern Tennessee and northwestern Georgia. It was the first major battle of the war fought in Georgia, the most significant Union defeat in the Western theater and involved the second highest number of casualties after the Battle of Gettysburg. The battle was fought between the Union Army of the Cumberland under Major General William Russick Cranes and the Confederate Army of Tennessee under General Braxton Bragg, and were named for Chickamauga Creek. The West Chickamauga Creek meanders near and forms the southeast boundary of the battle area and the park in northwest Georgia. The South Chickamauga ultimately flows into the Tennessee River about 3.5 miles northeast of downtown Chattanooga. After his successful Tullahoma campaign, Rosicrans renewed the offensive, aiming to force the Confederates out of Chattanooga. In early September, Rosicrans consolidated his forces scattered in Tennessee and Georgia and forced Bragg's army out of Chattanooga, heading south. The Union troops followed it and brushed with it at Davis's crossroads. Bragg was determined to reoccupy Chattanooga and decided to meet a part of Rosicrans's army, defeat it, and then move back into the city. On September the 17th he headed north, intending to attack the isolated XXI Corps. As Bragg marched north on September the 18th, his cavalry and infantry fought with Union cavalry and mounted infantry which were armed with Spencer repeating rifles. The two armies fought at Alexander's and Reed's bridges, as the Confederates tried to cross the West Chickamauga Creek. Fighting began in earnest on the morning of September 19, 1863. Bragg's men vigorously assaulted but could not break the Union line. The next day, Bragg resumed his assault. In late morning, Russell Cranes was misinformed that he had a gap in his line. In moving units to shore up the supposed gap, Russell Cranes accidentally created an actual gap directly in the path of an 8th Brigade assault on a narrow front by Confederate Lieutenant General James Longstreet, whose corps had been detached from the Army of Northern Virginia. In the resulting rout, Longstreet's attack drove one-third of the Union Army, including Russell Cranes himself, from the field. Union units spontaneously rallied to create a defensive line on Horseshoe Ridge, forming a new right wing for the line of Major General George H. Thomas, who assumed overall command of the remaining forces. Although the Confederates launched costly and determined assaults, Thomas and his men held until twilight. Union forces then retired to Chattanooga while the Confederates occupied the surrounding heights besieging the city. Thank you for watching till the end. Please consider encouraging us by subscribing to our channel. In order to show your support, don't forget to like and share the video.